factors that can complicate this cannulation. One is the obesity. So the obscure landmarks, you, do, you don't feel uh, for these things, especially if the patient is obese. And the other patient population is pediatric patients. So there is a large head and then you are able to, you are not able to uh, palpate all these uh, things. Neck is short. So positioning is a uh, very important. So especially in pediatric patients, what we do is we put a small roll under the shoulders so that the neck is getting extended and you get a proper uh, landmarks for the uh, internal jugular vein. Then if the patient is having deformity or rigidity because of previous surgery, burns and contractures, then you will have difficulty in the landmark technique. Then if the patient is unable to lie flat, patients with cardiac failure, uh, those who are having respiratory difficulty, they are not able to lie down flat. Then patient is hypovolemic, the vein might be smaller in size if the vein is thrombosed. And last is the anatomical variability. This is very important. I want to tell you about this in detail. So normally we say that the vein is lateral to the artery, but that is not the truth in 100% of the cases. It is seen only in 22% of the cases that the vein is lateral. In approximately 50% of the cases, the vein is anterolateral. So if this is medial, this is lateral, this one is the carotid artery. So this is anterolateral. Then in 22%, it is exactly anterior. So if you just miss and your needle goes uh, beyond the posterior wall of the uh, IJV, it will hit the carotid. Then in around 5% of the cases, it lies exactly medial. So you are trying, trying, trying hard. Uh, you are feeling the carotid medially and then you are puncturing in the lateral and you are unable to find any blood flow. What is the reason? Those patients might be having a medial placement of the internal jugular vein. And then in 1% it is posterior medial. So the direction of your needle uh, is important depending upon the anatomical relationship between the vein and the artery. So if it exactly lateral, you can simply go like this. But if it is anterior lateral, you will have to tilt it laterally. So that's why we teach that your, uh, your angle should be or the direction of the needle should be facing towards the ipsilateral nipple so that you are avoiding, you are going towards the lateral side and you are not facing your needle direction towards the suprasternal notch. In that case, you will encounter the carotid artery. So depending upon if it is coming more anterior, your direction is getting more and more lateral as you can see here in this. Then what are the complications when you are doing